Hi, this is Tom Bancroft. I'm the writer and illustrator of the new book from Focal Press, Character Mentor. And um, I'm just uh, kind of giving out a lot of little tips here on drawing and uh, illustration and a lot goes along with my book. The book is really about taking your character to the next level through poses, expressions, and staging. So um, it's really a book that all illustrators can use uh, and designers because anybody that uses a character really um, because really it's about uh, how to improve the performance side of your character. So, um, but a lot of it is drawing based, so I just wanted to talk about one thing which was making changes. Um, making a big statement. Um, I guess that's the point, which is um, if you're drawing a character and you're designing a character, and to me we make a lot of decisions as we're drawing characters and designing things, and so what I want to say is make the big statement. So if it's a character that is a little, you know, kind of uh, lazy, uh, you know, give him a real curve to the back. Make him really feel kind of slumped over. Um, maybe give him a little pot belly, um, um, but give him a long nose. Anything that's going to droop on him is going to make him feel even more lazy. So um, don't just kind of draw an average person with a slight little stump and, you know, or slump over and, and go, okay, I'm done really kind of push it as far as you can um, because you can always come back and really that's the point of this which is and uh, which is just making the big statement first and then coming back if you need to because um, most of us don't do that I, I, when I was in early on uh, I was in a, at a design firm it was my very first job and I was an intern for these um, graphic designers and um, they said early on make a big statement um, so and what they used for um, for an example was tangents. If you had two shapes that are really close together, and here's my examples here, and they're touching, all right, hold on, sorry, they're touching, that's the tangent, right? Um, there's two ways to fix this. One, back one away a little bit, and then it's not tangenting, or overlap them, and then it's not, you don't have the tangent either. And this is the most dynamic way to do it, is to have the overlap, because you get depth, and uh, the shapes look better that way. Um, backing them away, they're just kind of plain and there's a gap. But um, their point was, the one w uh, you can either fix it by a slight movement here or a slight movement that way. But they said, no, make the bigger statement. Make them a lot, sorry, a lot further back or really overlap them. Don't do just a little tiny thing. Um, and, and I think that's a good point. You know, don't fix it a little bit, fix it a lot. Um, so, and that's, that goes along with your poses. If it's, a uh, in action where you're, have a character throwing a ball, you know, don't just sort of, you know, halfway extend the arm, maybe extend it all the way. So it's a straight line. Um, do those things first, go to the extreme. Um, and you know what, I think you're going to find that a lot of people don't do that. And that might make your work even stronger and more exciting.